Hello and welcome back to another reaction. In this occasion, My Hero Academia, episode 22. So yeah, last time we saw a little bit of what is going to happen during the, I guess, the last episodes of this season, because yeah, there are not a lot there. Uh, we saw, of course, the beginning of the practical exam uh, for this school, the final practical exam. And of course, we saw a little bit of a montage uh, for the written exam. Yeah, we only saw one, and we really saw the intentions of the teacher with this kind of test. Uh, is just to make them see their weakness and trying to overcome said weakness. Uh, the first two fail miserably because they only focus on their strengths and the teachers focus on their weakness. So yeah, uh, that creates a perfect op opportunity for Cementos to defeat Kirishima and uh, the muscular guy. I don't remember his name. The one with the sugar rush, I think. So yeah, that is one issue that we have been achieved. And of course... The first one to notice was Midoriya, or at least the first one to say that was Midoriya, doing the, his observation of the test of his two friends. So yes, I love that. I love the way Midoriya is so observant. But yeah, I spoke about that in last episode, so just let's just cut this and watch the episode, shall we? Yeah, you're also rising. Oh, it's for Jajurasu, the episode. Oh! I love his power! Oh! <laughs> what? Oh! Nice teamwork! Yes! Yeah! Oh, that's nice. Yeah, the clones. Oh! <laughs> 30 at once! What? What the hell is that trivia? Oh. oh! Yes, he can be overwhelmed! Oh! Shadow. Uh. Oh, those mean those must be the, the the cops. Yes, the sound they make it makes sense for them to be that. Clever! 
of her. Yes, I knew it. Yes. <laughs> that looks, yes, it looks ridiculous. But yeah, the amazing speed. Oh. Yes. Oh. So cool. Yes. Yeah, she's having problems. And again, the internship is terrible. What's terrible? Oh! Oh, yes! Oh, I love how Aizawa is so freaking amazing. Yeah. Oh. Yes, he's kind of a ninja. Oh. Yes. Oh. 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 Oh, yeah, the reality is just going against her, yes. Yes. Oh. Oh. Dude, you two, come on. Oh, he didn't, what? Why he didn't erase it? <laughs> yes! Hurry up! God damn it, I love how agile! Uh. Yes, the lack of confidence of this girl is... Oh. Yes, because you're a lot smarter! Oh! He voted for her?! Oh! So he trusted her before even... Oh, that's... That's great! What? Oh! Oh! Flash grenades! Yes! Oh, that's... Again, I love the way she, this girl thinks! Yes, he has to play at some point! Yes! Oh! Yes! And he's pretty good with his quirk! Oh! 
Yes. Oh, I love this one! Hey! <laughs> oh, yeah! Yes! Oh, he gets to look at them, okay! Oh! That is freaking- Oh, come on! Yes! Oh! oh. What? Oh, yes! I want to do the material! But it has a name! Yes! yes I don't remember the name exactly! Memory Low, yes! Oh, that's so freaking great! I think capture one of the hardest ones to capture! Yes! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, to regain her cross. Ah! Ah, okay! Okay, that makes sense, yes. That makes sense. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, this was a neat battle. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, yeah, okay, I get it. Oh. Pretty good episode. I really, really enjoyed this episode. And it feels shorter than what it was. I don't know why, but it feels shorter. I love it. <laughs> it was, uh, those were fun battles. We have three battles in this episode. But yeah, I'm going to watch this again. And, well, be back with my comments. See you in a bit. And of course, there is an extra scene. Uraraka and Aoyama. No! Oh, yes, they are against 13, yes! Oh! It looks very evil! Oh! I love the music! <laughs> yes, you are in trouble! Oh, that's neat! <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, like a black hole! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love this battle! Oh, he can read minds or something? What? <laughs> what? Wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. What? <laughs> Get the rid of your mother, do this to me just in the last freaking second. Oh, yes, I have to wait for the next one. Uh. But yeah, now that's it. I'm gonna watch this again and see you in a bit. Get every no yama! Okay, I'm back. I just watched a second time the episode. 
And yeah, it was an interesting one. Let's start from the beginning. Uh, now the next contestant was Suyu Chan and Tokoyami. And they went against a pretty hard to beat teacher, Ectoplasm, which creates clones. Uh, I love the way that uh, Suyu Chan and Tokoyami have a team. They know exactly how to act. If they want to run away, they help each other to do this. Uh, one throw the other one away, and of course the other one grab with the, with her tongue in this case, and uh, pull the other guy so he can run away too. So it's not just one and the other one is going to be a distraction or something like that. No, I love the fact that they are a very well... Um, uh, they have good uh, communication skills, as uh, Recovery Girl said. Uh, they know how to exchange information and they know how to um, use their powers and of course communicate the use of their, of their powers because if they don't communicate they will be just there for I don't know how long and they, their stamina will go down and etc etc so yeah I love that aspect uh, the thing that mentioned that the recovery girl mentioned the communication skills because yes it's a basic skill you don't have powers and in, in our world there are those things exist and you, if you don't communicate well with your partner with your friends with your girlfriend with your boyfriend with whatever uh, the, uh, things tend to get messy because some stuff that really is nothing wrong, it's nothing bad, but from a distance it looks like it's a fishy uh, issue. And if you don't say what exactly is the deal there, that could uh, create some problems if you your girlfriend thinks you're cheating on, on her, but it's actually your sister or your friend or something like that or if your girlfriend is i don't know going someplace with her with their uh, friends and she finds somebody else in a bar and you saw them or one your friend saw them and you start to think that she's cheating on you or a friend you borrow something but you forgot to tell him and it's okay but you need to tell him etc etc all these problems could be resolved with a little bit of communication and trust even uh, but if you don't communicate, things are going to be messy and it's going to be a disaster. So yes, I understand the ability of communicating with one another. And it's a good thing that these two guys have said ability to understand and to communicate their skills and their weakness and their strong points. So yeah, and of course Ectoplasma is relentless. And the reason he, ch he was chosen to fight them is because Tokoyami is an excellent long-range fighter because dark shadow is a long range uh, i don't want to say weapon but a long range power uh, this of course is understandable because so far we have seen uh, dark shadow to attack from a distance against jajorosu to uh, recall a uh, battle and against uh, bakugo it was terrible for uh, Tokoyami because it was close combat and it was something bright and is the weakness of Dark Shadow. So yes, but and of course he's pretty good at keeping the distance between him and the enemy. The problem here is that the clones can appear from whatever point uh, Ectoplasm wants. So even even if you try to maintain your distance, it's almost impossible in these situations. And yes, he is kind of weak in close combat. Luckily, Suyu Chan is not weak in that aspect. She's pretty agile and she's pretty dynamic. She's not just staying in one point. She moves and she jumps from here to there. So yeah, I cannot I cannot see a weakness. Perhaps there is one, but I cannot see it. I am not an expert in combat. Uh, so yeah, I love this aspect that some partners can uh, mitigate the weakness of another person and they are doing exactly that. Suyu Chan is helping uh, Tokoyami to suppress his weakness and they are a pretty good team. But unfortunately, they receive a grim reminder <laughs> when Ectoplasm just create this gigantic clone of himself. 
and boy it was awesome <laughs> just amazing the way he moves he's slow yes of course but the size but again the sheer side of that thing it's enough to give you to get you in shock said come on how do you beat that and of course this shock held ectoplasm to capture this too and say okay maybe dark shadow can go away but no the real one the real ectoplasm is again is very skillful He's just as Tokoyami, he is a long range combatant because his clones can well cre be created in a long distance. Uh, but he knows that weakness that if somebody else gets close to him, he could be done for. But of course, he compensates that weakness uh, thanks to his training because, yes, you can see he's well uh, trained, he knows how to close combat. And locally, one of the abilities of Suyu is to, uh, I don't know, eat an object and keep it safe in one of, he, in one of her stomachs, I guess. It's pretty gross. Thank you for not showing that. The moment in which was uh, out, let's say. Uh, and, of course, were the cops. And I love the way they try to get the cops because, yes, if... The teacher saw that he will be in a defense mode. He will be prepared to not attack so freely because there are cops. And if he gets caught, he will be done for. But they were very subtle in, in that regard. And they managed to capture the teacher, let's say. It was very commendable. They used their abilities to the best they could. And it was a pretty neat team. It was well done, and I love, again, the communication skills these two have. And, of course, the one who is very observant is uh, Deku. He likes to observe, and he's a good observant. And, of course, he doesn't, he cannot uh, come up with the strategies with Bakugo, because it's Bakugo. So the best course of action is to watch the others and try to learn from their mistakes or from their uh, strong points. But of course, that's it for that combat. The third combat in this case, the second in this episode, the third in total, is Ojiro and Ida against uh, Loader. I don't remember the name of the teacher. But yeah, he's kind of a. Well, he's underground and you cannot see him. And the problem is that Ida he doesn't have that free movement to just, uh, well, create his speed. Because, yes, there are booby traps everywhere. Because that those were created by this guy, by the teacher. And they still tried to run away. But they knew that their abilities were not enough to combat the teacher. So they tried to run away. And yeah, it wasn't cool at all. But it was effective. They were running very, very fast. But unfortunately, I guess the teacher was prepared for that. Because... He created more traps, and this was about to, well, be over for them. But luckily, Ida, and again, I love that logical side of Ida, create a plan in which he could throw a Jiro thanks to the force, and he just pushed him away into the exit. Of course, Ojiro was smart enough because he needed to be uh, avoiding the teacher and to escape. But yes, again, I love the logic side of Ida. Either when he's thinking ahead, he's brilliant. In the moment his emotions took over, that was the major problem. He couldn't think ahead with the hero killer because the hatred for him. Because he hurt his brother. And you see a lot of mistakes in Ida. Yes, those mistakes at the end save somebody. Because if Ida wasn't there, this guy, a native, could not be alive. But again, those mistakes were, well, mistakes. Uh, it created a huge, huge situation. Uh, but that's, that is because Ida wasn't thinking. He was just an emotional wreck. He was just clouded by hate and by the desire of vengeance. Here, we can see the thinking side of Ida, the logical side of Ida. He's thinking of a plan. He's trying to get the best possible result. And he's using his brain. 
And of course, the best result was to run away. Perhaps not both. But one of them will be able to get someone who is very suited to fight this guy. And that was the plan from the beginning. And yes, that is either this logical person. Yes, a robotic person, but very intelligent. And I love how they are bringing this all either back. Because now he understands even better that you should not be driven by your emotions. And yes, I love this either. And of course, unfortunately, he doesn't look that well <laughs> when he is just buried in the ground and just his head out. <laughs> Before that, he was very cool because he was doing exactly what he needed to be done. But after that, yes, it was kind of ridiculous. But yeah, now we are entered to the principal part of this episode. Jaujorosu and Shoto's pairing, couple, all of them sounds like shipping, I know, uh, against Aizawa. And yes, I know Aizawa is a beast in combat, because we have seen Aizawa in combat. He's an amazing, and I knew this was going to be one of the hardest battles, because come on! I said, what can I raise quirks? And you cannot see which quirk he is racing. So yeah, it was going to be, from the beginning, from the moment it was announced, it was going to be a hard combat for them. And I love, and yes, if you put that to side from, well, in, in the side of the lack of confidence from Momo, oh, I'm learning his, her name, yay. Uh, yeah, if you put that it's a combination for a disaster for the students. Because, yes, uh, Todoroki, I cannot believe it. I was about to say Yajorosu, and I was thinking about Todoroki. Ugh. I'm going to talk about this at the end, okay? There is a reason for that. Um, yeah, again, um, Todoroki was very overconfident. He is confident in his quirk. And he is confident in his, uh, well, his own persona. He's overconfident. He knows he's one of the best. Jaujorosu, on the other hand, is not. And for a lot of factors. Uh, thanks to the development in the tournament, in the sports festival. She was just defeated in the first round and very quickly and very easily without uh, Tokoyami breaking a sweat. So that was the beginning of, uh, of the lack of confidence in her. Um, and of course, the internship. The internship was awful for her. And I have said this several times. Because the hero that she went with is one of the worst examples for a hero. She's just more a model than anything else. And the things she does is, are not heroic things. It's just the modeling part, the commercials, and of course, the signing of autographs. Momo doesn't want that. Momo wants to fight, to get better, to help other people. But she was chosen because she was cute. At the beginning she thought because of her abilities, but no, because she was cute. And that was another punch to her confidence. And then, when she was paired up with Todoroki, Todoroki is an amazing overconfident person. And the things she has done, the second place in the tournament, and just because he didn't use his fireside, uh, everything around her, everything around him, sorry, it's just perfect because, yes, he's a recommended student, but he has been proved to the rest of the class that he's one of the best. She hasn't, at least in her eyes, she hasn't proved uh, the recommendation of why she was worried of the recommendation. So everything is just piling up and destroying her confidence. And that is noticeable. Of course, Aizawa captured uh, Todoroki, and I love the way he thinks that, yeah, sure, you can froze it, but careful when you uh, fall down, because there were these, uh, these, I don't remember the name, Calops, if I'm not mistaken, these kind of pointy things. Uh, and she ran away. The only plan they have is his plan, but she has another one. 
another plan. But again, the lack of confidence here is what is creating this intense moment, this dramatic moment. And Aizawa is noticing that. He wants to help her, but he knows this is not the perfect moment or the ideal moment to do that. He, he, he has to evaluate her performance. And yes, I love every aspect of this episode. She can uh, create stuff still. I don't know why Aizawa is not erasing uh, her quirk in that moment, but okay, I guess it's another reason. And she run back to Todoroki to save him. She arrived, but again, the lack of confidence is just palpable there. And of course, I love that moment, the next moment, in which part of her confidence returns. In the moment that Todoroki said, I voted for you, you have two votes. You have two votes in the rep, uh, well, election. One of those votes were, were, was mine, because I thought you were fitted to that job. And in that moment, in which Todoroki doesn't know Momo that well, Jojo Rosso, she doesn't, he doesn't know her that well. And even if it's like that, he was putting a vote of confidence in her. And that snap in her brain, and that create this beautiful moment in which we can see that she has a plan from the beginning because her matryoshka that she was creating just really nearly without making an effort were hiding a flash grenade this blind freaking Aizawa and they run away and that was enough time okay and the moment she started to act okay you need to create a wall of ice between us and Aizawa but I cannot use my quirk it doesn't matter in the moment he needs to blink and he has been weakened because of the USJ incident so yeah in that moment create this giant ice wall and he created and they have enough time to create another plan or at least to uh, create the stuff they will need to uh, fulfill their plan and the catapult, these kind of weird uh, materials, of course, there's a weird rope and the way it was created because she needs to use her chest because I guess this is the most efficient way to create it, I don't know, but I love the cute moment in which just Todoroki just turned to the other side in the moment he noticed that she was opening her, her shirt or her leotard and yeah, I love because, yeah, Mineta is the only one pervert there. He is the only one who is a pervert. The rest kind of have this shame and wants to give the other girls uh, their privacy. And yes, I love the plan. They hide under this clothes because, yes, Aizawa needs to see you in order to erase your quirk. And they run away. Aizawa captured them, or he thought he captured them, but he captured a mannequin and the catapult. She failed in the first attempt, but he, uh, Aizawa, instead of attacking, he ran away or tried to run away, back it off, and she released the catapult, and this material surround Aizawa, and in that moment, the fire start, and that is when you notice, this is memory material. The memory material, of course, this exists in real life. It is still not uh, as well thought in, as in the anime, but it exists in real life, and I love that aspect. The moment she knows how to create memory material, it's amazing. And she creates this material with absolutely nothing. It's incredibly amazing. Yes, they captured Aizawa, but again, they noticed that the, the plan uh, went a little bit too smoothly. And yes, uh, the reason Aizawa said, because, okay, I was wary of uh, Todoroki, I thought he was going to freeze me. And that makes sense. But later on, and thanks to the words of uh, Recovery Girl, we notice uh, that actually Aizawa want to help Yoyorosu. It didn't make it that obvious, but he still, he wanted to help Yaoyorosu. He wanted to this girl to recover her trust, and her, the trust of the herself and her own confidence. I love that aspect of Aizawa. He's not just training heroes, he's taking care of these guys. I love it. I really, really love it. And of course, the last scene, the uh, after credit scene in which we discover that somebody else is paying attention, Aoyama. And of course, they are trying to fight against 13. 
failing miserably. But that's, of course, when, uh, yes, he discovered that uh, Ochako really likes Deku. And yes, my shiver mentality went, what? What? And I love that moment because, yeah, the face, the Ochako's face is just amazing. And I think she's starting to notice that too. And I mean she, yes, she. But yeah, analyzing the scene, and this is something I wanted to see to say in the end. The reason I confused the last names when I wanted to say Todoroki and I said Jagorazu is because, yeah, some of my friends who watch the show or, or who already watched the show before me, they are shippers, of course. They have their favorite ships. Among them is Jagorosu and Todoroki. I never knew why. With Deku and Raraka, you kind of see that in the rest of the uh, well of the series. You kind of see that they are very close. They are uh, they are always one. They are looking all, always one after the other. So yeah, you kind of see that. That's why I'm a shipper for Ochako and Deku. With Jojorosu and Todoroki, I didn't understand completely until this episode. Yes, in this episode, you kind of see that shipping mentality at work. And I really like this ship. I'm starting to like this ship. Because when you think about it, another moment in the sports festival, you kind of notice they are together. And yes, this is my shipper mentality. If you want to ignore this, go ahead. I understand completely. Uh, but yeah, I kind of see that shipper mentality to be at work here. And yes, I understand why my friends or some of my friends ship these two together, Todoroki and Jagorosu. This is a cute episode, and especially the last part, because this is a very subtle way of saying that, well, technically, Todoroki offered a foot massage to Jagorosu. If that is not love, or at least a crush, I cannot say what it is. <laughs> Again, this is my shipper mentality, man. This is my shipper mentality. So, yeah, I understand why they ship them now. Yeah, I'm, I am starting to ship them too. Oh, my God damn it. But anyway, yeah. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, great episode. Uh, very funny and very insightful. And I love how they recover the confidence of Jagorosu. So, yeah. That's it, guys, for now. I hope you enjoy. The only thing I have to say is thank you so much for your views, for your likes, for your comments, and for your subscriptions. Again, if you want to be a subscriber, please click on the subscription button and, of course, on the bell so you can get notifications. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, the link is in the description below. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you so much. And, well, see you on the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.